Hello everyone and thank you. Um, can I invite Jim Glaister and Neil Palm onto the stage now? Um, so that was my solo piece, that was called Albert's Special Boogie Woogie, um, quite an old style of music. Um, so I'm going to play the rest of the show with these guys and next we're going to play Stable Mates which was written by Benny Golson. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool tune, shows a bit of contemporary style bebop language, a bit more modern than the older traditional bebop, so hope you enjoy it.
Thank you. That was a piece called Peacocks. Uh, I don't know if you've ever actually heard a peacock make a sound before, but they're actually quite hideous. So I think Jimmy Rawls was kind of thinking about the visual beauty when he wrote that tune rather than the um, sound because it's really very horrible to listen to. Um, we're going to play There's a Small Hotel now. This is sort of a jazz um, standard, one of the less well-known ones. Um, we're going to do a, bit, do a little bit differently though. We're going to play in 5-4, so it's going to be a little bit, a little bit different to what it would usually be played like, so please enjoy.
Thank you. So when I was deciding on what I was actually going to do for my recital, I was having some discussions with my teacher Mark about it. And there were a couple of occasions where he said, usually I tell people not to do this. Usually I definitely tell my students that it's a very bad thing to do, but I think that you should actually do it. So that made me a little bit terrified and nervous. What he was talking about then was playing a bebop piece and my fast piece. Um, so much to Bruce's dismay, and um, but Mark's enjoyment, because I think I can kind of do it now. I'm going to play Quicksilver, which is a Horace Silver tune, well known from the Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers recordings. Um, so yeah, we're going to play that kind of fast, and it should be good, I think. So, there you go.
Alright, um, the next piece we're going to play is a Spanish piece. When I was about seven years old, I saw flamenco dancing on Sesame Street and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. So my parents were really awesome and went and found a place that taught flamenco for little kids. Um, so yeah, um, I've been doing it ever since and I really love it. And um, yeah, so I thought I'd try and share some of that with you today in my recital. So I kind of put this piece together. I've got a lot of melodies and flamenco stuff floating around in my head from having done it for so long. So I just thought about all of that stuff and mushed it together with a bit of jazz and I hope it'll turn out all right. Um, can I have another big round of applause for Jim and Neil, my band? They've been really awesome. They um, didn't do flamenco dancing when they were kids, so they had to learn this all from our recital, and they did a really fantastic job, and I really appreciate all their hard work that they put into it. So I hopefully it'll turn out all right. Please enjoy it.
I'd like to invite Christina Guile onto the stage now. She's going to pl play this next, the last two tunes with us actually. Um, so the second to last one we're going to play now is called Butterfly. It's written by Herbie Hancock. Um, it's a bit of a funky piece, so we'll try and do some justice. It's got a bit of cool modally kind of language in there. So Christina's going to have a bit of a solo on it as well, so it'll feature her. So enjoy it.
Thank you. Um, so yes, that was quite a flight. Um, we're up to the last piece of the evening. I'm going to do a few thank yous now. Hopefully I don't forget anyone. Thank you to my family, first of all, who got me into music in the first place and put up with all my practicing when they realised I wasn't going to give it up. Um, I don't even know why they really bothered coming to my recital because I've heard it so many times already. Um, but yes, thank you so much to them. Um, thank you to all of my friends from school and outside of uni who put up with me talking about music and were very supportive when I said I'm going to do music at uni, which is not what most people do. Um, a huge thank you to my friends here at uni, especially these guys who have been really incredible. It's been such a great journey with them. Um, a big thank you to the lecturers here at the conservatorium. Um, you've all made a huge impact on the way I play music and the way I do everything, um, especially Mark Ferguson, my individual teacher, who had a lot of faith in me when I walked in here knowing almost nothing about jazz. And he was really supportive of the whole way, um, got through four years with me and now I can finally play a little bit of jazz, which is really great. Um, big thank you to Peter on sound for making it sound really great tonight and Jordan Gowdy as well, who put in a lot of effort behind the scenes earlier at Soundcheck to make it all sound really great. Um, my band, um, we're going to welcome two more people on stage, I thought they'd be here, um, where are they? Sean and Adam, <laughs> you can come on now, there they are. Um, so, Neil Farmer on bass, Jim Glaser on drums, Christina Guala on saxophone, and joining us for this last one is Sean Helps on the trumpet and Adam Carroll on the congas. This last piece was written by my teacher, Mark Ferguson, uh, and it's called Bonaira or Bonera, as he usually calls it, in Latin band. We played it all semester in the uni Latin band, which was a lot of fun, so I thought I'd do it at my recital today. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, all of you, so much for coming. It means a lot to see some faces in the audience. And have a good night.